Tigers. Welcome back to another semester of the Roar Rundown. We had a nice break, but now we're back with more news in the Washita sports world. Last Friday evening, both the men's and women's swim teams competed against Henderson State University. The men lost to the Reddies with a score of 114 to 91, while the women's team won with 50 points with a score of 126 to 76. Both teams will compete at home against Oklahoma Baptist University on January 31st at 5 o'clock p.m. And the women's team will travel to Little Rock on February 1st to take on the University of Arkansas at Little Rock and Vanderbilt University. The softball team has started preparing for its season, so we sent Blythe Epp to meet up with one of the freshman players. I'm Blythe Epp, joined here by freshman softball player Maddie Terry, and we're going to go over some expectations that they don't tell you in the game of softball, but are expected to know. If you could describe today how you think today is going to go in one word, how do you think it's going to be? Interesting. How long have you been playing this game? Um, since I was about six years old. Okay, um, today is my first day, but I've noticed that the more dirt you have on your body, um, the cooler you look. Dirt? Okay. And put it, yeah. All right. Yeah, and we look so cool. All right, now that we look really cool. Okay. Yeah, we look off. Yeah, so cool. You, yeah, you need to work on it. Point number two is our walk up to the plate. matter because our walk up was so cool they won't even notice. You ready? Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Did you learn some stuff today that you're going to use in the game, your first game, February 8th? Um, yes, I did. I learned a lot of new things. Um, definitely going to use the slow-mo walk-up. Yeah, that was a good one. And I'm definitely going to pass on uh, everything I learned to my team. Yes, yes. You'll, you'll be, look the coolest. You'll be the coolest one out there. All right, back to you guys. Go Tigers! The softball team will open their season with the McGee-Hawkins Invitational. The Tigers will play against Christian Brothers University and Texas A&M University on February 8th and then against the University of Missouri at St. Louis and Tarleton State University on February 9th. Washita's basketball teams will play on the road in Oklahoma this weekend, first against OKBU on January 30th and then against Southern Nazarene University on February 1st. The Lady Tigers have a record of 1-11 in conference and 4-14 and overall. The Tigers have an overall record of 7-10 and four and eight in conference. The baseball team will travel to Union University to face off against the Bulldogs. This is its fifth consecutive season opener against Union, and the Tigers are looking to bring home some wins. Elizabeth got a chance to talk with Tyler Reebok and Brandon Matros about the season and the matchup in Tennessee. Hey guys, I'm out here with junior baseball player Tyler Reebok and senior baseball player Brandon Matris. So Tyler, um, how do you feel about the preseason poll that puts you at 10 out of 12 in the GAC? Okay, well, um, we didn't have a great year last year. We had a better year than we've had in the past. Uh, so I think 10th is still fitting for us uh, in the eyes of everybody else in the conference. But we know what kind of work we've been putting in, and we know that we're better than 10th, and we're ready to prove that this year. So, Brandon, um, I know that last year you guys played against Union University in the first week and you lost last year. So do you have any strategies about maybe um, doing something different so you can come home with a win? Uh, you know, sometimes strategies don't work out the best, but uh, we know, like Tyler said, we put in uh, enough work to go out there and uh, put, a, put a good series together. We haven't had success in the past, but we're definitely looking forward to playing them this year. So Tyler, are there any teams that you're really excited about playing this season? 
Um, I mean, obviously, it's always fun to play against Henderson, the Battle of the Ravine. That's unlike anything else. But uh, for me, the next big one is Oklahoma Baptist. I know they won the conference last year, and we ended up dropping the series uh, one to two against them last year, and they walked us off. And uh, I feel like if we can take them down, that'll be a big step for us, especially since they became, they were number one in the conference last year. So, Brandon, how are you feeling about it being your last senior baseball season? Um, it's definitely went by fast. I've enjoyed uh, my four years here and uh, really just hoping to keep this thing moving forward in the right direction and leave a legacy here um, for this program. Uh, I love what we've been doing this year, and I just hope it uh, transfers into wins this season. Well, that's awesome. Well, good luck this weekend, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you. Both of Washita's tennis teams start their season this weekend. The men's team will play at home against Delta State University on January 31st at 5 p.m. And the women's team will face off against the University of Texas at Tyler on February 2nd at 10 a.m. We sent Preston Crowder to talk with Seth Hernandez about the upcoming season. I'm here with Washita freshman tennis player Seth Hernandez. Seth, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. All right, so um, you're a freshman, only American born player on the team from Little Rock. Uh, what are some of the challenges you've had to face uh, in your freshman season? Uh, the challenges, probably the competition. It's a lot better, um, you know, being in the NCAA. Uh, the players are, like, great. Where I'm from, it's hard to have that kind of competition. And being here, uh, getting better every day, it's so much fun and great to be here. Sweet. So uh, your first match Friday coming up against Delta State. Talk about um, how excited you are for that and just some of the uh, game plan you have going into that match. And we're all super excited. Uh, it's going to be so fun. I'm ready to finally get the season started. We've worked so hard the past few weeks, like past semester too. And the game plan is just um, win every match, singles and doubles, everything. Sweet. Well, Seth, again, thanks for coming on. And Josh, back to you guys. The wrestling team has been on the road for most of its season, but it will return home to compete against the University of Maryville February 1st at 1 o'clock p.m. With the Super Bowl this weekend, we sent Izzy Bond and Henry Hunley to see what Washita thinks about the game. We're approaching the 54th anniversary of a really important game this week, and that game is the Super Bowl. On Sunday, the 49ers and the Chiefs will square off in the Super Bowl for the first time in Super Bowl history. The Chiefs have not been to the Super Bowl in 50 years, which is the second longest streak with no Super Bowl win, but the odds are in their favor as they're favored by one and a half points. Despite the odds, the 49ers are undefeated as, as, as the underdog. They're 5-0 and as the underdog, and they only allow 15 points per game on the defense in the playoffs. Defense isn't the only place where they make their money, however. Their run game has the most rushing yards in the NFL in the playoffs. And the Chiefs have a stronger air attack game with their quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. He had eight touchdowns and zero interceptions in the playoffs. And with that being said, they always find their way to the end zone. They scored 35 points or more in their playoff games. If the 49ers win, they'll tie the Steelers and the Patriots for most Super Bowl wins in NFL history. And the 49ers will be looking to revive their Super Bowl legacy. Well, we've told you the facts, so let's see what Washita thinks about Super Bowl 54. Henry, why don't we ask the people? Let's do it. I'm here with Natalie Helms and Jade Dorman, and they're going to tell us their predictions for Super Bowl 54. I don't even know who's playing, but I'll just watch it for the experience. Great. I think I'm really in it for the halftime show. I mean, Shakira's my girl, so. Shakira for Super Bowl MVP. Okay, so here we have Ben Inman, and we're going to ask him who's going to win the Super Bowl and why. Uh, 49ers, because why not? There you have it. All right, guys, I'm here with Dr. Chris Mortensen, and we're going to ask him who he thinks will win the Super Bowl and why. Tell us your pick. Uh, well, I, 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 as a boy, grew up as a 49ers fan um, because they had a few Nebraskans on the team at the time, and they were really good. So I, uh, in a biased sense, I have to pick the 49ers. Uh, I think they have a better running game, a better defense, and uh, that's why I think they'll win a game that's probably a little lower scoring than, than people think, maybe a 28 to 24 sort of game. So. We even had a score prediction, but you heard it right here from Dr. Mort, the 49ers will win the Super Bowl. Hey everyone, I'm with my roommate now, Maddie Terry, and she's gonna tell us her prediction for Super Bowl 54. Maddie, who's it gonna be? 
Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, first Chiefs we've had today, right? Maybe the second, but she's a Chiefs girl. All right, thanks, Maddie. Yep. Now I'm with Anna Roussel, and she's going to tell us who she thinks will win, the 49ers or the Chiefs. Honestly, I don't follow either of those teams. I'm just in it for the commercials. <laughs> Great answer. Some people are just in it for the commercials, and that is just as valid. Next, we have Caleb Bird, and we're here to ask him who's going to win, the Chiefs or the 49ers. I think it's going to be a tie, 0-0 uh, zero, zero final score. They flip a coin at the end of double overtime to see who wins the game. But the winner of the coin toss will be the Chiefs. So That's a good guess, and as most people think, it's going to be 50-50 anyways. Yeah. Here we have Brooklyn Jennings and a Tiger Grill worker, and we're here to ask them who's going to win the Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs or the San Francisco 49ers? 49ers. All right, there you have it, 49ers for her. What about you, my man? I got to go with the Chiefs, man. Chiefs, that's a good answer. That's who I'm going with, too. I'm here at Washington Sports Digital Network director, Chris Babb, and I'm here to ask him who's going to win the Super Bowl, the 49ers or the Chiefs? If I had to pick, I'd probably say the Chiefs. I'm going to have to say the same. They got Mahomes. They got a great defense, too. Looks like it's going to be the Chiefs for Coach Babb. Well, guys, that's all we have for you this week. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Roar Rundown. Stay golden, Tiger Nation.